so a lot of times when people are uh, trying to make a Spotify visualization uh, a little bit more appealing, easier to use, um, one of the most common things that people are looking to do is create this alternating colors on a, uh, a table so that people can kind of follow across a single line with a little bit more ease. Um, it, there's, it's not a, a particularly obvious way uh, to do that. You can't just right click on properties and uh, you know, select something in appearance that would say alternating colors or anything like that. Um, but it is uh, pretty easy to actually accomplish. So uh, let me do this. I'm going to create a new table, or sorry, a new page and just add a table visualization on there. So um, from here, I'm gonna go into properties and go to colors. And what we need to do is we need to do this by uh, data type. Uh, so we, we can't just say uh, one rule for all of the different columns, but you can do one rule for each one of the data types in your uh, table. So I'm gonna create a color grouping scheme going to be based on numeric first and I'm just going to filter by data type or sort by data type I guess pick all the numerics and add them to that group then in color mode I'm going to change it to fixed change all values to white and I'm going to add a rule now the rule is going to be a boolean expression rule type And the formula I'm going to put in is the modulus of the row ID based on uh, dividing by 2, and that should equal 0. So basically what that's saying is whenever you take the mod of the row ID, uh, when you divide 2 into it, as long as it's uh, dividing evenly, then it should be whatever this color is. And then if it's not, then it's, it's just going to stay white because it doesn't meet the criteria of the rule. So we press OK give it the color we want and there you go so now all of our numerics have an alternating color and then we just have to take the exact same approach for all of the other different types of data types in this um, table so I'll do another color grouping scheme this time I'll do date sort by the type add the date type and then just go through the same process. Fix, all the values are white, and add a rule, Boolean expression, and give it the same color. And then one more time, add a color grouping scheme, this time for string. I'll take all of my string uh, type columns, add them to a group. There you go. Um, pretty straightforward, pretty simple. It's maybe not the most obvious thing, uh, but it does make it so that from now on, if you want to create this effect in your visualizations, um, you can do this without too much effort. Um, this also does work with uh, cross tables, um, although sometimes if you have missing values in a given cell, it can be uh, it can be a little bit wonky. So you have to use it. You know, you know, kind of. You basically have to test for that. Um, I hope this was helpful. Let me know.